Right guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're doing something a bit different. Instead of a review, I'm doing a tutorial on how to do pocket holes joints using the Craig mini jig. So, if your joints look like this, throw it away. Use a Craig mini pocket hole screw jig to get joints looking like this. Perfect. So don't forget to like, subscribe and let's get to it. Right guys, so you get a square head long bit in your kit, a stepped drill bit with collar and the actual jig itself, there it is. Now what you need to do is adjust, adjust the collar according to your screw size. So you just undo the allen key bolt in the collar and adjust it to the right size. I'll link into the description a chart which shows what size you need to do for your few screw size. In this example I'm using one and a half inch screws. That's your biggest size. So again you just need to cut your wood that you're using. And you need to mark uh, for this screw size 32 millimeters from the edge of your piece of wood. Now this depends on your screw size again, so I'll link that in the description the chart. For the biggest screw size, it's 32 millimeters. I'm just putting a line across here at 32 millimeters. Right, so now you just want to take the end of your clamp, sorry, the end of your jig, and place it at the line you've just marked, and clamp it on. If you're doing two joints per piece, which I recommend, you want to do it to the edge of your piece of wood, as you can see there. Clamp it nice and tight. Now, put your drill bit into your drill and tighten it up using the chuck key or keyless chuck if you've got one, depending on your drill, obviously. Make sure it's nice and tight. And the collar will control the depth of the drill bit. Now, you just want to put the drill bit into the hole and drill all the way down to the collar then just wiggle it back and forth a little bit and that's it your hole is done remove the clamp and as you can see you've got a nice pocket hole there So again, I'll do the next one now. Just place it at the end of the jig at your line at 32 millimeters. Clamp it down nice and tight. Get your drill, pull it in the hole. And drill. Wiggle back and forth, and there you go. You've got a nice, clean hole for your screw. So now you just want to give it a light sand just to get the rough edges of the drill bit off. That's all you need to do. Now your next step is to clamp your other piece to your, to your one with the holes in. Get your one and a half inch screw as you can see there. 
put it in the hole and screw it in all the way in it's a self tapping screw so it should just go in nice and easy I've already done the other screw off camera just checking they're both tight undo the jig cancel and there you go you've got a nice lovely neat joint and I recommend doing the holes on the insides of your frames so they're not visible to the outside right guys thanks for watching today's video the tutorial of the Craig mini jig so now we can do joints like this, incredibly versatile tool, tool, you can use it to make cabinets, frames for cabinets, loads of things. I made a table out of scrap wood, I'll show you one day. So don't forget to like, subscribe and I'll catch you next time.